I am David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Summerside Prince Edward Island has become one of the leading cities in Canada transitioning to renewable energy. This is amazing when you consider 20 years ago, PEI had no capacity for generating electricity except from expensive diesel generators. After deciding to set up their own utility in the city in 2002, Summerside set a rather audacious goal in 2005 of reaching 100% renewable energy. So I'm uh, Greg Goody, the director of municipal services for the city of Summerside, and that job entails looking after the water utility, sewer utility, public works roads, and the electric utility we own here in Summerside. In 2005, the city had a strategic plan, and one of the items in the strategic plan was to become a 100% green electric utility. So that kind of started the path in 2005. That, that set the, the achievable, I guess. Sometimes you shoot for the moon and you get into orbit. So we're pretty well in orbit right now, so we're still trying. In 2005, Summerside signed a 20-year deal with West Cape Energy to purchase wind power. We still wanted to go further and demarket ourselves from the open market at the same time be renewable. So we built our own 12 megawatt wind farm. So that created a very high level of wind on our system at that time, 46%, I believe, at that time. Yep, they built the small wind farm right in the city of Summerside. And although wind is an amazing resource in PEI, and at times we had too much wind. We had to actually spill it into Maritime Electric's grid. And so that started us on how do we use that energy locally. So we started a program that was called Heat for Less Now in 2012. And that was really to go against the oil company's pricing model and to electrify people's homes on PEI, but in the right way so it didn't affect our peak. So the Heat for Less Now was our consumer program on a smart grid system back in 2000. We started developing that in 2010. And that was a series of fiber and smart meters that we were doing for houses and businesses. And then introduced the Heat for Less Now to create an opportunity for residents to get a cheaper source of heat. Summerside offered incentives to residents to switch out their dirty oil furnaces with electric furnaces that have the unique ability to use excess wind power and store it as thermal energy using smart meters. So we would replace it with a full electric furnace and a full electric hot water heater, which was smart controlled to make sure the energy was timed with renewable energy and or to make sure it was never on the electric grid's peak. So these electric furnaces are basically double the size of the furnace you would probably need um, for the home. And what that allows us to do is we can inject energy into it 12 hours of any day. And we pick the hours when the electricity goes in it. And the other 12 hours, it doesn't draw any electricity, zero, and just depletes the storage or thermal storage energy of the furnaces to go back into the home. We call it the uh, automatic oil fill-up that ain't oil. Residents were offered an $0.08 per kilowatt hour discount on electricity for their furnaces. This also flattened the curve on the local wind power, helping the city get to 46% renewable energy, a level few cities, states, or countries had achieved at the time. So basically, the homeowner will get the energy when they need it. They never run out of heat. It's a guarantee. And we haven't, uh, operating it for 12 years, we have not had complaints on loss of service for heat or hot water. The program is still running today, and residents can still get electricity for the energy storing furnaces at half price. We've had up and down years in the program over the 12, um, but we're at 588. The plan originally was to get over 400, so we're well past the goal, and we're continuing to operate it. We're now looking at expanding the program uh, to go into different different type of appliances. There's this fall we plan to hopefully launch a new heat pump that stores energy and it can avoid times for four hours, which is good for our peak. There are incentives for heat pumps and they're up to three times more efficient than electric furnaces. So Summerside is looking at new heat pumps that can also store thermal energy. This is just the beginning of Summerside's journey. 
Next week, we'll look at solar, another smart grid project, and how the city's using AI to optimize their grid. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.